Hi YouTube, so today I'm going to show you how I do my eyebrows and uh, fill them in. I went to a salon and got them threaded. It's called Diva Salon and Spa. It's here in Chicago. And they did a really good job. I saw Yasmin and my sister saw Shima, I believe is what her name was. And it was only $5 for threading. So, the products that I'm going to use today, I need a mirror because I wear glasses so I can't see that mirror. Well, I have this Revlon Matte Eyeshadow in uh, Rich Sable. And I'm going to use my matte concealer in NC50. I have a small concealer brush and a um, very stiff angled brush that came with a wet and wild gel liner. And a spoolie. The first thing that I'm going to do is actually put some eyeshadow base on my eyeshadows. And I'm using the one from the Smashbox Wish palette. And this is the Photo Finish Lid Primer. Um, just because when I'm done, I'm going to do my makeup. So, That's just so it'd be done so thin. Okay, so I'm just gonna take my eyeshadow. I've already groomed my brows. Gonna take the shadow and just fill them in. Very nice. Nothing dramatic. Just make them a little bit darker. I hope you can see that. I really, really like the shape that the um, salon gave me. So it's not much work that I have to do. And maybe once it's time to get them um, filled again, I can show you how to do that. You know, and still make your eyebrows look groomed without having them arched or anything. Okay, so that's kind of dark, right? So, what I would do next is just take my spoolie and kind of buff it out to make it look more natural. Just like so. Then I will take my concealer, get some loaded on the brush. Oh, excuse me. And I start off underneath. So I would really start off at the arch and take it down. I hope you can see it. Really just try to make a straight line. See like I just did not do. Like so. And you're gonna do the same thing on the top.
like that. And don't be alarmed, we're gonna blend it in. But I just like to get it on there in the shape that I like first. You really don't need a whole gang of this stuff. Like so. And what I do sometimes is I'll get a little tissue and clean the brush off, get the excess off the brush, and then I'll just take this and kind of lightly um, blend it until I get it to where I can blend it with my finger without messing up the line. I would take it and just use my ring finger, excuse me, and just blend out the line. Nothing too harsh. You want it to look as natural as possible. And then I'll take this back because I messed up that line. You can see right here. Yeah, it's straight there, but it's not there. I didn't add any more to it. Just kind of refresh that line. And there you go. So, these are my finished brows. Well, not yet. Hold on. And there you go. Those are my brows for the day. Next, it'll be the eye makeup. Thanks.